Hey, what's up, programmers? Welcome back. So today we'll be looking at a special type of number that is called as an Armstrong number. Now, first, let me explain you what is an Armstrong number. So, say you are given a number, say 153, and you have to determine whether it is an Armstrong number or not. So, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to separate these digits. That's one, five, and three. And the next thing that you will be doing, you will be cubing this number. That is. Uh, one raised to three plus five raised to three plus three raised to three. Now you'll add these three numbers and you'll get the sum. Now if the sum that you get by adding the sum of these cubes th is equal to the original number, then it is an Armstrong number. Now this is how you determine an Armstrong number. I hope it is clear. I'll take another example. Uh, so it will make it more clear. So say you are taken a number, say one twenty-three. Now the first step you again do is you split these digits. Into one, two, and three, cube them and add them. Now, in this case, the sum of cubes is not equal to 123. As you can see, it is actually 36. So this is not equal. So this is not an Armstrong number. Now let's look at the algorithm that we'll be using in implementing our code. I have not taken an Armstrong number to show you this case. So you got 153, right? And you'll be using another variable called sum. Now this sum will be initially defined to be zero. The next thing that we need to do, we'll do is that we'll be plucking out this three that is from the units place, and we'll be cubing it and adding it to our sum. That is, we'll pluck out this units place, cube it and add it. So the our sum will be 27. Now the next thing we need to do is that we need to reduce this number by taking out this three. So the next step that we do is that we divide it by 10. So now the answer will be 15. Okay, so now again we'll continue. We'll pluck out the units place that is five. We'll uh, add it to our sum by cubing it. Okay, so uh, 27 plus five raised to three, and the sum will be 152. Now then again we'll pluck. Uh, we'll remove this five from our or, uh, number that by dividing it by 10. Then we'll be left with one. You now we'll pluck out this from the units place and add it to our sum so our sum will be 153 now as you can see the original number and the sum that we get at the last is equal so this is an Armstrong number so we'll be displaying a message to the user saying that this is an Armstrong number so let's quickly jump into the code so I've just created an Armstrong.c file and I've just wrote down our STDIO for input output and our main so the first thing that we need to do is we need to ask a number from the user. So we'll just be printing a message and taking the input from the number. So I have not taken the input from the user. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to initialize our variables. So if you remember then we started our sum from zero. So let's do that in our program. So now that we have uh, initialized our sum to zero. Now we need to also use the temp variable which will be the original number. So now why I have used this temp variable is because we will be continuously dividing the number by 10. So the original input that we take from the user will be lost. So just to retain that original input I have declared another variable as temp variable and I will be dividing it continuously by 10 inside the loop and, and we will be checking for a condition. So now let's start with our uh, looping procedure that is we will continuously divide it by 10 and add the units place to the sum now this we need to repeatedly do this so we'll be using a while loop so I've just declared a while loop now I have not written down the condition the condition uh, we'll think for the condition after we have written the body of the loop so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to get the units place so units place which is equal to your temp variable modulo 10 that is we'll get the units place from the temporary uh, variable so the next thing that we need to do is we need to cube this unit place and add it to our sum. So sum plus. So now we have added the unit. Uh, we have cubed the units place and added it to the sum. Now the next step we need to do is that we need to reduce that number, right? So we need to divide it by ten. So we'll divide ten by ten. So now we have completed with our body of our loop so now let's uh, see what will be the condition for the breaking of the while loop so if you remember correctly we had our temporary variable initialized to 153 
and we used to continuously divide this uh, 150 uh, the temp variable by 10 so after dividing we get 15 then again after dividing we'll get 1 and if we try again to divide it by 10 in this case our quotient will be 0 so this is our stopping condition this is where our loop will stop so we'll be using this stopping condition so our stopping condition will be till temp is not equal to 0 so this will be our stopping condition so after we have done with this now the last thing that we need to do is we need to compare whether the no, the sum is actually equal to the original input if the sum is equal to the original input then it is our then it is an Armstrong number so we have checked our sum to the original input and if it's true then we will be printing as an Armstrong number or else it is not an Armstrong number so now we have successfully completed our program so let's check our program so let's compile it no errors so now let's run it now so it is asking for a number so let's try an Armstrong number that is 153 so it is giving an Armstrong number now let's try another number to make sure that our program is running properly so let's try 123 and 123 is not an Armstrong number so that's it for this tutorial please do sub please do subscribe to our channel like our video and go through our YouTube uh, YouTube channel now we have got various videos like these on our channel so please do check them out and we also have our blog that, uh, that's the we the computer guys dot com now where we post our source code the source code to this video will be available there uh, and also if you ha if you like to read about technical stuff then you can go there and experience